Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am really, really excited because we are going to be playing with some makeup, but not exactly in the way that you may expect. I'm gonna be destroying my James Charles X Morphe palette, turning it into paint, and then painting a picture with my DIY palette paint. <laughs> Basically, a few weeks ago, I came across this video on TikTok by an amazingly talented artist named M Does Sketches. Her friend gave her her expired James Charles palette, and instead of just throwing it away, she basically started crushing up the eyeshadows and turning them into paints, and then using them in her art, which I thought was so cool. It is insane to me that this palette came out almost three years ago now, and people are still finding new ways to make it work and make beautiful art out of it. I love that more than anything. Personally, I'm not much of a painter. I prefer drawing up myself, but I think I thought that this would be such a fun video to just relax and see if I can come up with something beautiful on the canvas. I have my palette and a bunch of art supplies here in front of me and I also have this massive, Oh, massive canvas behind me as well. I'm not exactly sure what the game plan is for what I'm going to be painting. We will definitely have to wait and see towards the end of the video to see what the heck I'm able to come up with. So if you guys want to see me take my palette and repurpose it into what hopefully will be some nice, beautiful paints and then paint a picture with you and I together, keep on watching. Okay, so we have all my different little camera angles rolling. Hello, hello, hello. And I have my supplies here in front of me. So I have my old vintage James Charles X Morphe palette. This is definitely not my first one that I've had. Uh, to be honest with you, I've used like 80 of them at this point. This will be a nice way to repurpose an old palette for sure. In terms of what I'm gonna be painting today, I feel like I should decide that before I pick the colors. That way I don't sit here and make 39 paints or we'll be here for hours. I did mention in the intro, like I said, I love drawing. I'm way better at drawing when it comes like black and white and charcoal than I am with colors and painting. That was, this was like never my expertise. And when I did draw, I always used to draw women. I loved drawing just famous celebrity faces and just beautiful figures. So, oh my gosh, should I paint the forest landscape that North drew? And everybody was, <laughs> yeah. that would be everything. Um, my gut like tells me to do like a fun, like little beautiful eye. I used to be obsessed when I was younger with drawing eyes. Like I would always just sit there and just draw eyes all over my tests and quizzes and like notes. My teachers would always like write me little notes be like, what the heck is this? Oh, I mean, there's something in the eye. Oh, North painting. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just gonna start and just see what happens. So if I'm gonna do an eye, I'm gonna need a brown, I'm gonna need white, I'm gonna need some nice tans, black, and some pops of color. Okay. Ew. Why am I picturing like a blast of color behind my eyes? That's what I was kind of envisioning too, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh. We have our like little acrylic board thingy here. I should probably do like a pop of color first, just to really see like if this is gonna work, to be honest, I feel like. So I guess I'm just gonna start with my little spatula and start digging into brother. Ooh. Oh my God, do you guys remember when my palette first came out and that girl destroyed it and I got so mad at her? I felt so bad after that. But it was also at the time where like this was, it was sold out everywhere and kid, like little kids were like fighting for it. And like this girl was on TikTok like, oh. I even noticed when M does sketches, the girl who was making these videos, when she started first posting about this, a few people were like, you're destroying the palette. She kind of explained how like, she doesn't really wear makeup that often. So for her, this is a really cool way to turn one art form, which is obviously, you know, doing makeup and wearing makeup into an art form that she could actually take part in. I thought that was so, so cool. And what a fun way to look at it. She also mentioned that she uses expired palettes too, which I think a lot of people don't know. Fun fact, a lot of makeup, well, not even fun fact, it's actually, Cut, it's <laughs> Fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. A lot of makeup does expire and can be not good to use. So if you have anything in your makeup kit that you've been using for years and years now, especially like brushes or beauty blenders, you might want to get a new one. Okay, anyway, we have our blue right here on the palette. I love this color more than anything. It's still one of my favorites to this day. And I have my acrylic, er, oh, acryl, uh, oh wow. Acrylic clear gesso. I don't know if this is what I really need though. What is this though? Danger, contains petroleum distillate. If swallowed, do not induce vomiting. Call <laughs> physician immediately. In case of contact with eyes, rinse with water for 15 minutes. Irritation persists, contact. Oh, this definitely looks like it's the right product. Okay, now we're just gonna sit here and really mix it all together. Oh my God. <gasps> wow, this is pretty, not gonna lie. At this point, honestly, this is looking pretty good. How do you get it into your like jar? Oh my God, this is literally paint. Oh no. 
Okay, maybe I'll do some nice black next. Two colors down. God, this is taking so long. All right, hello you guys, we are finally back. Uh, you probably just watched a few seconds time lapse of me turning the rest of the palette colors into paints. Uh, however, that actual process took about three hours for me here in the studio, which uh, I am not thrilled about. I finally have my colors done. I'm just ready to go ahead and put something on this canvas, so let's get started. <laughs> I feel like I need to like sketch it out first. I'm gonna grab some nice tan first, and I'm gonna draw out my eyeball. It looks like a lemon. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a bigger brush. I'm just going with this more of this color. This one was actually, I'm literally just. Oh, she's in the kitchen. Okay, I'm actually blending this color. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna make the eyeball crease. Yes. I'm gonna grab some brown. I'm trying to look at my what crease is. I kind of like this because it's like. This color looks so dark, but then as soon as you put it on and like actually start blending it, it really like softens up pretty quickly. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a little bit of pink. Then I'm gonna put this in the waterline, like right here. What does a tear duct really look like? It's just like a little, little like pink gummy thing in there. Okay, just gonna add some nice little like veins in the eyeballs that'll get covered up later on. So now, I need to add some shadow to the eyeballs because they're never actually fully white, obviously. <laughs> I just realized this looks so bad on camera. Let's try to draw this nice little pupil. I'm gonna grab some nice brown. I feel like the biggest problem that I used to make whenever I used to draw faces and eyes as a kid was I used to make like the pupils way too small. When you're drawing an eye, pupils are actually pretty big. Okay, now I know that I have to add the eyelashes obviously, but that's gonna be like one of the last steps just because it's kind of like the drawing over top of everything. So I'm just gonna try to add a little bit more dimension into some of the skin tone areas, I think. I think I need to just start adding some more fun colors into here just to make it a little bit more spicy. A little yellow here and there, maybe a little pink. I feel like that already made it a little bit more fun. I feel like the more like abstract colors I can bring in where they're not supposed to be, the, it makes it more fun. Like you think I should just like literally like take random colors and just like splatter places? Placing it kind of wherever, to be honest. This looks so cool. I kind of like it a lot. I, I think it's time to add the eyelashes. I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. I think it looks cool. This is really the make or break moment because this could ruin it. I think I'm gonna use some nice purple to draw on the lashes. Just keeping the avant-garde theme going. Now, the only thing that I think I wanna add is just some white highlights. So I'm just gonna grab some white paint now for the last and final step, just to add some nice highlights and dimension. I think it's a cool contrast. Look at how cool this looks. I love so it, cool. I love it. Okay, I think at this point it's time to call it quits because I think we've created something beautiful. Like I feel like whenever you get to the end of an artwork piece, like you keep adding things and stuff, but every time you add something, you're risking like messing it up. I'm gonna stop 
and call it a night. Cause I think I really like how this turned out. I think this is really cool. All right, you guys. Well, turning my palette into paint and then painting a picture of them definitely turned out to be a little bit of a more complicated, long process than I originally anticipated. This was quite the roller coaster, and I really had no idea if this was going to come together in the end. However, I am really, really proud of how this turned out. Oh my gosh, I have not painted anything in honestly years now. Like I said, I used to draw all the time as a kid, but I never really got into painting. I never really thought I was good at color theory. Obviously this is not like a Picasso in any way, shape or form. However, this is honestly just very relaxing, very therapeutic to just stand up and paint something really, really pretty. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as well. This is definitely something different for me. So if you guys did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below to share your love and support. And let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future. If you've not already, make sure you click that bigger subscribe button as well and come join the sisterhood. And finally click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, all my social media accounts are gonna be linked right here on the screen. And if you want to text me on my personal phone number for updates on new videos, photos, merch, and so much more, my number is 310-905-8746. This video is sisters. Ooh. <laughs> This video is Sister Shadow goes to Sister Damien. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you would like to do the next video, Sister Shadow, don't forget to always retweet my video links so they go live on Twitter. All right, you guys, there's only one last thing to do before I end off today's video, and that is sign my piece of artwork. So I'm just gonna head right down here to the bottom corner with my little Sister Sharpie. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.